Once the United Nations and this tribunal uh, get uh, Radovan Karadzic into custody, he will be transferred into the detention unit of the tribunal, which is up in Skevening and uh, towards the beach from here. He will, um, of course, be interned there. He will be welcomed and introduced to the rules and procedure and the detention unit itself uh, by the commanding officer of the detention unit and other staff there. He will then be met by registry officials who will explain to him the rules and the procedures of the tribunal and his rights while he is in, within the detention unit and standing trial. Uh, one of the judges of this tribunal will be soon after that calling uh, a status conference which should be an initial appearance and that will be the first time that Radovan Karadzic will uh, appear before the judges of this tribunal and where he can, if he chooses so, uh, enter a plea to the 11 counts uh, of war crimes that the prosecution charges him with. just like all the other detainees that we have there, and it is 37 at this moment, uh, every day will be the same for him as for everyone else. That means their cells are open early in the morning. They, are, they do not spend their days locked in the cells. Uh, they can spend their time in the common areas of the wing, different wings of the detention unit and use the facilities of the detention unit, which are educational and entertaining as well. So. There is, for example, a library, there is a gym, uh, there is a spiritual room. Uh, so uh, these are all the facilities that they all have uh, for, for their use. And of course, they have every day a couple of hours, uh, which they spend on fresh air.